Nearly two weeks have passed since the coup in Niger that ousted President Mohamed Bazoum, who last week said he's been held hostage. Sifo Mantula, a researcher at the University of South Africa, has described the emerging power struggle in Niger as typical of recent political crises in the Sahel region. So if you look at these two characters also, it also characterizes the weak uh, leadership, the deficit of leadership in the Sahel region, where you have a civilian leader failing and you have a military leader who wants to take power. And this has been the trend in the Sahel region in terms of this rising of young military leaders. Most of them, they've been close to the presidency, but once they move out, they want to capture power. There is a problem in terms of how do you restore civilian rule. Leaders of ECOWAS have said they would meet later this week after General Chiani's junta defied the deadline to reinstate President Bazoum. In Africa, they've got a trend and they have got a pattern of also the imaging of young military rulers questioning most of the senior leaders who have been governing most of the countries for long. So it is also the question of, is Africa redefining its democracy through military coups? Or is Africa also under threat by external democracy principles? Because it appears that when Germany or France or USA speaks, we start to jump, but also we don't define our own democratic practices because indeed you need to have a military civilian relations. The military belongs to the barracks. They don't belong in the state house. Niger's partners are divided on the question of military intervention to return power to civilians.